Here I'm looking at the Intro to App Development book, Chapter 13, Lesson 13, The Question Bot. You can go ahead and read through this chapter on your own, but what's going to happen is we will now take the brains of the Question Answer Playground and put it into an existing app. Now if you go to the source code, you see the Question Bot project, and if it's not already open, you can open up this until you see the .xcode proj file. Go ahead and double click that. And of course we want to open that. Now, the way this works, this is an existing project. So if I open here on the navigation, I can twirl open, I can see all these files. I can go ahead and run this. Go ahead and click build and run. And it's going to open in the simulator. Here it's launched the simulator and it's going to run the app. All right. Hello, human. I'm QuestionBot. Ask me a question. Type your question. Uh, where? And I can even use my keyboard. Should we go? Question mark. And I click ask. And it says, what? Question mark. Let's try a different question. Notice when you use your keyboard, your computer keyboard, that's connected to your computer, the simulator, uh, the on-screen keyboard disappears. That's because we're using an external keyboard. If you were to run this on your phone, it would show the keypad as before. In fact, if you want, you can toggle the software keyboard to show it here. But as soon as you start typing, then we click ask and it still doesn't give an answer. All right. So this is an app that's already been written, except it's missing the brains. It's missing the logic for the question bot. Now, if you go back to your question answer playground, You'll notice that if you go to the page six, which is the, the page where we finish the code, all of the code is here. So what we need to do is take this code and put it into the question bot app. Now, a lot of times you work with other programmers and, and someone will do what we call the UI or the user interface and they'll lay out the app and then someone else may do the logic behind it, the brains of the app. And in this case, someone has done the work for us. So the question is, where do we put the code? So if you look over here, you have app delegate, Swift. Let's just take a look at these. You have app delegate, you have view controller, and then you have question answerer. You also have the main.storyboard. If we look at the storyboard, we're going to see here's the layout and that's something that's already put together. And so we already saw this. If you go back to question answerer, does this look familiar? So here it says, write a response. One thing I wanted to call out, if you go back to the book, um, you can go through and you see the instructions. We've already done this part, but um, what it's saying is, replace this line, return a question mark with, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question, build and run, and there's the new answer. So let's try that. I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Go ahead and save that and let's run it again. And let's see it in action. All right, ask me a question. Let's say, what time is it? Let me say, ask. I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. See, that's pretty cool. So this code here is being called directly within the app. Okay, now let's add the rest of this function. So we've already done that. So if you go, sorry, I keep moving my mouse around, but if you go to window, and choose putting it all together. There's the last 
playground we were just in, this is all the code. So if I select this and then press Command C, and then I go back to Window and I go to Question Bot. Now I want to enter it, enter, refresh, turn a few times, enter some lines, and now press Control Command V. Sorry, <laughs> to paste that. Now notice how it says this return. I want to I want to cut this by pressing Command X. I want to put it right here. And let's delete this comment because we don't need that comment. I want to clean this up a little bit. Delete some of the extra spaces, extra lines. OK. Now, let's stop this process if we didn't already. Go ahead and click Stop and then let's run it again with our new code and see how it goes. All right. So we're going to say, hello question bot. Why hello there. Pretty cool. Check that out. So we've just added the brains of the app. Very nice. We can say uh, where are the cookies? In the cookie jar. Okay. Well, where is the cookie jar? To the north. <laughs> that didn't help. But you're smart enough now. You know how to change this to where you could say if you could check for whether it said where is the cookie jar, you could answer that question specifically. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. Now, another thing we can do is to change up the UI or user interface. So let's click main.storyboard and here we are with this. So let's click on this bot image and I want to click over here and notice this is actually an emoji. So if I want to change that, I want to change that. Now there's actually a shortcut to see the emoji keyboard. Let's go back to the book for a second. And we've already done this. We've done that. Okay, the label. Press Control Command Space. Bring up the emoji picker. Select the label. Change the emoji to a different character. Okay, so now press Control. What was it? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, control Command Space. Whoops, what was that? What happened? I want to undo. I don't know what happened. I clicked something and then it went. Up. Let's go back. Okay, so now we select this. Control, Command, Space. There it is. There's our emojis. <laughs> All right. Let's go with the clown. How's the clown? Wait, it doesn't like the clown? Oh, is it too scary? Let's change it. Control Command Space. Uh, what's a good emoji? I don't know. There's all sorts of stuff here. Let's ask the nerdy face. Let's go ahead and run that and see. For some reason, it's not showing up here, but let's go ahead and see if it runs on the device. We're going to launch this in the simulator. All right, there it is. Perfect. Hello, human. I'm question about Ask me a question. Perfect. One other thing that it wanted to do for the uh, UI is to change the background color. So let's click on, so when you select view, that's the root object here where everything is included. Now we have a background. Let's go ahead and click this and it brings up the color wheel. And let's just pick a different color. Kind of a yellow, light green. 
Okay, let's try that. Let's stop and run it. Awesome. Pretty cool. So there we've created an app and we've added code. We've updated the UI. Really awesome. All right, be sure to read the book. Follow through on the book to read ahead and check out those questions to test your knowledge. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and look for the next video.